What's going on everybody? Kind of doing a multi-video here. Uh, I was actually tagged by Siberian Fury to show my two favorite knives. I've seen two versions of the tag video. I think it may have got lost in translation to how many people are doing it, but it's either two favorite knives or two favorite bush knives. Um, well, I can't... It, it's two different choices on each side of the coin for me, so I'll just do all of them. Uh, as far as two favorite knives go, uh, definitely is going to be the knife my grandfather kept in his pocket for a long time. It's a cop master made in Utica, New York. Uh, it's very old. Uh, it's actually one of the blades have been broken and reshaped. Uh, I've kept good care of it. Got all the the uh, deer blood out of it and the grime and uh, it's well oiled. And it's just a, you know, just a basic old lockback, three blade, lock, three blade lockback, excuse me. And uh, that's just, you know, it's sentimental and I keep it away and uh, well taken care of and I don't use it because I don't want to run into the chance of actually destroying it. My other favorite knife which is very out of character for me is one that I had done actually uh, a long time ago is my first custom I ever got and it's made by Gene Martin and he's out in the Midwest uh, I just found him on the internet so uh, I mean we're talking oh probably 13 years ago 12, 13 years ago, and uh, it's made out of ATS 34 steel cryo treatment. Uh, it's 3 16 inch thick. It's got a lot of file work on the spine, and I kept really good care of it. Uh, this actually was a woods knife for me for quite a long time. Uh, it's got uh, micarta handles, mosaic pins. Uh, it's a great knife. It's uh, It's been through hell and back. I've definitely uh, kept the finish good on it when I'm done using it, doing high grit sandpapers, taking out the scratches. It's got, it holds a ridiculously great edge. Uh, just a cool knife. I've had it a long time. And it's out of character for me because I'm not really into big knives. I, I consider it a medium. It's not a, it's not a big chopper or anything. It's very uh, tactical, so to speak. But uh, it's, it's a very cool knife regardless. Uh, but that's one of my favorites because it's the first custom I ever got. It was many years later till I got another one. So, uh, yep. And I'll throw pictures uh, at the end of the video of it too as well so you can see it. But uh, very cool blade. Yep. Uh, bush knives is different. Uh, I don't have my Amora, uh 510, the red handled one here, the one that's you know got more use, but I do have this one I won in a contest from Englishman in Ontario. I do like the 510 Mora a lot. It's uh, it's definitely a great carver, cutter, and utility task. It's nice and thin to, uh, for food prep and things like that. And it's uh, be honest, it's my favorite of the Mora knives, just the 510. I just think it's the most well-rounded. And quite obviously, guys, you've probably seen this and just all my videos since I made it and it's my bone Korean handled knife uh, blade was by Adventure Sworn I did the handle myself um, there's a video of me making it I'm sure most of you had seen it that are actually watching this uh, this is by far my favorite my favorite one to date that I've made uh, it's a great user it's a perfect shape to my hand it's a thick handle the way I like it um, I'm sure it'll show up in camera pretty good and maybe I'll do some macro on it at the end. It's got a great pommel on it as well. Very rounded. It's also beveled at the top. So in case I have to uh, strike with it, um, I can do so with uh, with ease. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a great knife. It's getting quite the patina on it. So uh, it does need, uh, does, need, does need to be taken to the stone. So I'd like to do that before the next outing. Um, yeah, there's my uh, favorite knives, and um, and adding to the uh, to the video is uh, another axe I just uh, hafted today, this morning actually. It's uh, linseed oil is drying on it. It's a Craftsman head I got. It you might have seen it in the last video. I showed it to you real quick. Ran out and got a handle. Did a different shape on it. It's a little bit longer than my uh, my uh, GB SFA. 
but I went for this old, uh, you know, shoulderless traditional look here. See it or not? Um, it's slightly there, the shoulder, but I got rid of most of it. Uh, yeah, it came out pretty good. Um, see the wedge went in pretty nice. Um, once again, I left the uh, the wedge over the top of the eye because uh, that's the style that I like. Well, yeah, not too bad, and uh, you know, another axe to look forward to in future videos at some point. I got so many now that uh, they keep adding up, and I'm not going to stop because I because I would like a collection. So uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed a little video of some you know kit porn, so to speak. And uh, thanks a lot, guys.